everyone, welcome to What's Up Wednesdays. You already know I'm fiddling over here with my computer. Gotta share it so all of you can see it while it's happening. So take just a minute to populate. You know how it goes. And my computer and phone are right next to each other, Sean. <laughs> I'm just like, why isn't it faster? But anyways, you're probably like, oh my God, you're not alone. And you are correct. We have Sheila Long here with us from um, Old Republic Exchange. She's gonna be talking about 1031 exchanges. I'm super excited um, that you're here with us today. Thank you for having me. You all should be super excited too because you're gonna realize that you didn't even know you needed her in your, in your life. Like seriously, this is life changing stuff. So real quick, I'm sharing this, bear with me. We're almost done. But yeah, so it's lunch break. What are you having for lunch? I want to know. You know me. I'm hungry. I'm going to have finger later today. I'm Ooh. excited. What about you? I'm having Mexican. Ooh. I'm going to meet my husband for a quick little lunch before I get back to work. Nice. Do you know what you're going to order? I don't know yet. He said something about the chili verde. Ooh, okay, okay. That sounds really good. <laughs> I I asked, but then I almost felt like silly for asking. When we ever, Whenever we go um, order food, my husband will be like, what do you want? I'm like, we haven't even pulled up to see the menu. And I'm like, <laughs> God, get off me. That's mine too. I already, I already know he's going to have a burger or a Reuben. There's like the same three meals that he orders every single restaurant. Oh, nice. Yeah. He's so consistent. Yeah, bad. All right. Okay. Now we can proceed. Awesome. So again, we have Sheila along with here, here with us. We have a couple questions for her. Again, we're going to be talking about the 1031 exchanges and who better than the expert herself. So that being said, let's jump right into it. So Sheila, um, what is the role of Old Republic when it comes to 1031 exchanges? Okay. So the 1031 exchange is for the investor. Okay. All right. It's important to point out that as a homeowner, if you own your primary home, you have an exemption. And what that means is when you have gain, you have up to 250000 on a primary home if you're an individual mm -hmm. or five hundred if you're a married couple. Well, for an investor, they have no exemption. Mm -hmm. The moment they have gain starting at a dollar, they pay what's called capital gains tax mm -hmm. unless mm -hmm. they do what's called a 1031 exchange. This is where the IRS will not recognize any gain. If when they sell, they buy again through the 1031 exchange. Mm -hmm. So Old Republic acts as the qualified intermediary, and we help ex the exchanger and accommodate their transaction. Awesome. So then, if you're looking to invest or an investor yourself, see how this is important. So then, when does a when when would you become involved in the process? Okay. So I always say right away. Once you know that you are going to sell your investment property, mm -hmm. whether it be land. Okay, a vacation home that's on short-term rentals, okay, mm -hmm. or a long-term rental. Immediately, you are gonna wanna talk to your tax advisor and then talk to me. So I get involved right away. Mm -hmm. What happens is typically we draw up an exchange agreement once they're in contract. So your seller okay. is in contract with a buyer. We will draw the exchange agreement and that's when we first step in. Cool, and so then there's also this verbiage of, and I may be jumping around a little, same for same. Yeah, that's, I'm so glad you brought that up. Okay, so the IRS states you must buy equal or greater than in value of like-kind property. What most sellers don't realize is that like-kind to the IRS simply means anything held for investment purposes. Which means, <laughs> my, and I always get chills, I get so excited. Which means you can be sitting on land and you can go and sell that land and buy residential or you can sell residential and buy commercial. Mm -hmm. So like kind again to the IRS simply means anything held for investment purposes. That's super exciting. Yes, yes it is. And there's deadlines involved. Yes. Right. The, the timelines are the most crucial. Mm -hmm. Okay. So there's what's called the full exchange period, which is 180 days. Okay. And that starts the moment they sell. So once mm -hmm. you list and sell and their property transfers out of their name into the new buyer's name, that's day zero. From okay. that time, they have a total of 180 days to complete the exchange. Mm -hmm. However, within that 180 days is a 45-day identification period. So they must identify what they're going to purchase within mm -hmm. 45 days after close 
on the property they just sold. Okay, so ideally they're almost even starting the looking process before then. Oh yeah, and, mm -hmm. and the biggest misconception is that people don't realize that they can actually make offers before they've even oh, closed on their relinquished property. Mm -hmm. And I say what it's, it's wise to do that so mm -hmm. that they can get mm -hmm. through their all their inspections and do their due diligence. Mm -hmm. So, absolutely. Because you don't have to take all 180 days, do you? Oh, no, no. <laughs> you can close, and that's yeah. another misconception. So you can close the next day. You can mm -hmm. close the same day. So you're just entitled to that full amount of time, and that's mm -hmm. important. And where would someone need that? On a new build. So you're yes. buying up in Desert Ridge, and mm -hmm. they, the construction is gonna take longer, but no, it does not take up to that full amount of time. Yeah, because what is that, six months? Not quite, just shy. Almost, yeah. wow. I don't know why 180 sounds like less until I said six months. Anyways, okay, so then, what is like your service area? Okay, so I am, I, my territory is all of Arizona, all of Nevada and Southern California. So mm -hmm. they can buy, but we are a nationwide company. So if you have a client that calls you and they're selling in Michigan, they can absolutely sell in Michigan and come buy in Arizona and still work with us. Okay. So we also have other, other agents that can, uh, other exchange accommodators that'll help sit in uh, different areas. Awesome. So, but my, th those are my three territories. Okay, so if it's anywhere outside those ter territories, they can still contact either you and I and we can find them somebody. Yes, yes. So they don't have to do that homework themselves. Yes, and it would be through Old Republic Exchange. They mm -hmm. would just be working with one of my partners if it's not in one of my three territories. Mm -hmm. Let's, you know, we take care of you. Yes. I'm just saying, we do the work for you. So then another question, so why should people work with Old Republic Exchange versus other companies? That is the greatest question. Now, this is a really big thing. We are not regulated, I'm sorry, excuse me, let me say this again. The exchange industry is not really regulated by RESPA. What that means, and we always like to joke, is that like my grandma can be a qualified intermediary. <laughs> Why would you want to use someone that is not regulated? And regulated by mm -hmm. RESPA means the government's involved. Mm -hmm. Our title, local title companies, escrow companies, agents, right, mortgage companies are all regulated by RESPA. So it's really scary to think that the government does not regulate the exchange industry. So coming and using Old Republic, we have a backing of our parent company of over 100 years we've been around. Nice. Mm -hmm. And we come with uh, 80 million in bond insurance, 50 million in errors and emissions, and we give a letter of guarantee. And mm -hmm. that's the most important, so that their money and their property is safe and protected. Yeah, because I mean, you're dealing with all these other entities as well, and we want to make sure that we're playing by the rules. So that everybody wins. Yeah, and safety, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not trying to get in trouble. You're not trying to get in trouble. We don't want you to get in trouble. So yeah, use Old Republic Exchange, and she was lovely. So one more question. Um, what's um, in general? What's a what's something that you would want people to know about working with you? Okay, great. Mm -hmm. So the biggest thing is that I handhold the, the exchanger through the entire process. Mm -hmm. And I work with the agents, and if their mortgage brokers have questions, we're happy to help as well. So we take pride in making sure we always answer our phone, we always call back. Obviously, if we're in the middle of a Facebook Live, I'm not gonna answer <laughs> the phone, but I will absolutely call back. And the difference is, is that we're gonna make sure you understand, your clients understand the timelines, mm -hmm. and they understand the strict rules of the regulations of the IRS. Mm -hmm. And that's the difference is that we are there and we stand firm and make sure that customer service is absolutely the first priority. Mm -hmm. The IRS gives them no time off, so I make myself available on the weekends and evenings as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, kind of similar to us. Oh yeah. Um, real quick, I wanted to touch on the fact that I should have asked a little earlier, but um, how come people cannot just use a regular title agency to do this? That's, that's, see, that's the one thing, that's another mm -hmm. misconception that people don't realize. A lot of times the seller will get to the table and they'll ask their escrow company, that title company, hey, so what mm -hmm. happens with my exchange funds? Well, the IRS states there must be a qualified intermediary in between. Mm -hmm. So we're acting as a safe haven for those funds or that property mm -hmm. and that we need to be involved. So it, that's why that your opposing teams will call and say, wait a second, the seller just called and said, they're talking about a 1031 and they don't realize they need to use an exchange accommodator. Mm -hmm. And Title can't do that. Title cannot do that. Sheila can do that. That's correct. Yes. Okay. So then if people want to get a hold of you, what's the best way? I'm going to leave uh, my email. So my email is Sheila L. And my first name is spelled S-H-E-I-L-A, L for long, at oldrepublicexchange.com. And you can definitely call my work number as well, which is 480-341-2032. And I'd be happy to help.
Awesome. And then also, if you can leave your information in the comments. Absolutely. That way people can just like copy paste. Okay, great. I'm a, I'm a little lazy. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yes. That's okay. And then I, sometimes I have a hard time listening. So I'm just like, you know, thinking about all of you. But okay, cool. Anything else we need to know? No, that's it. Awesome. So if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. Obviously, Sheila's going to be posting her information on there. Um, you can also reach out to me and I can refer you to Sheila, of course, to get you the stuff that you need. Well, we're going to sign off, finish your lunch. We're going to go have lunch, but enjoy the rest of your Wednesday. And until then, see ya. Thank you. Bye.